<laughs> Don't want that happening? Let me show you how you can fight off teamers in Blocks Roots. Now, there's different types of teamers in Blocks Roots. You got the M1 spammers, you got the transform spammers, and you got the normal spammers. Sometimes they will go that far and just be toxic against you. And you really just gotta fight back. And in this video, I'm just gonna basically do a quick tutorial on how you can beat teamers in Blocks Roots. So let's start off by saying which race is the best for teamers. Now, this is very controversial as a lot of people say human might be the best or angel might be the best or shark or like mink to run away and have movement from the teamers but let me tell you one thing from all the races that i tested in blocks fruit there is one race that really stands out from the others and that race ladies and gentlemen is you go down here and you go even further down you go over here you equip the cyborg race now when ready ring ready vex why the hell would you equip the cyborg race the cyborg race has basically the best things that you can ask for for teamers so you basically got the v3 that gives you can breaks and gives you like energy boost not only that it makes your damage go even further up which is like extremely overpowered and it makes you not lose a lot of health at the same time the good thing about this is that you can hit everybody in your area as you can see right there so that's extremely broken as you can can break every single one in here let's say you're getting attacked and you hit the v3 you can make them all vulnerable and it's just op okay now one thing you gotta know is that you can't always stay very close to them but i would just actually recommend you doing v3 when you do any combos as everybody else is like getting hit with it all right let me go awaken my v4 real quick and as you can see right now you will get orbs that really attack everybody in the area so let's say i'm attacking one dude look what just happened everybody dies immediately since as you can see right now if, if you hit one dude other people will get attacked too as you can see right there it's just like the orbs attack other people so that makes it extremely overpowered now we're already talking about the v4 so i'm gonna like include everything when you have your can on you can basically move away from your enemies very easily all right so as you can see right now you can run away from your enemy very easily you can literally use the soul guitar to your advantage to even run away more bro it's just insane look at this i'm running away from like 10 people right now at the same time as this is just broken okay look at this like they don't stand a chance look at me go look at me go i'm running away from like five gazillion people bro and yeah that's basically how you do it you just saw how to evade teamers very easily using the cyborg v4 but that's definitely Definitely not it. Now, I'm gonna be talking about which fruit you should also use when you fight teamers like these. Alright, so you got a whole selection of fruits that you gotta use. People would be using like magma to deal the most damage or quake. Use butter. But let me tell you one thing. When you do all of that against teamers, no. Don't ever do that. Don't ever do that, okay? All right, so you got a whole selection of fruits that you can use. And let me tell you some fruits that you could use against teamers. You got Kitsune. Definitely use Kitsune if you can. Use Leopard. Use Dragon, because Dragon is extremely good on PvP against teamers too. Spirit as well. It's like all of the top fruits. I wouldn't really recommend using Control as it's not really a thing for like a lot of people. I would use Doe too. T-Rex also. I wouldn't use Mammoth you know what just keep it out gravity i wouldn't use it either use blizzard definitely use blizzard don't use pain use rumble obviously you're gonna use rumble you can nearly kill like most of your enemies with just one blue big ball phoenix don't use phoenix you will get oofed very fast sound is actually a pretty good one too as the c attack basically hits everybody in the area you got spider don't use it love don't use but uh, you could use it but i wouldn't recommend don't use ghost don't use barrier actually you could use rubber but that's if you're fighting like rumble teamers other than that don't use it you could use light but it's not really recommendable if you don't know how to play with light i wouldn't really recommend doing it other than that you might as well try it out don't use diamond don't use dark don't use sand don't you, you could okay you could use ice actually you know what you could use ice don't use falcon don't use flame don't use spikes no smoke no bomb spring chop spin rocket okay editor put in all of the fruits that i just said that you could use in blocks fruits against teamers okay <laughs> So now we got the fruits covered, which fruits you should be playing with against teamers. Let me tell you which swords you should definitely always use against teamers, okay? You should definitely use the fox lamp, okay? The fox lamp, when you have these orbs, bro, the damage is insane, okay? You got the true triple katana. I just recommend all of these. This is just broken, man. Honestly, since CDK is not the meta anymore, don't use CDK. It's actually just a waste of your time. You could use shark anchor too, as shark anchor literally like gets all of your enemies at once. Let me just demonstrate real quick look at this i'm basically just catching all of my enemies at once it's just crazy okay let me try it out again let me try it out again actually ooh, 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 ooh. look how many people just got catched by that i've seen people also trying to 
use like skilled stuff against teamers it's not worth it not in this update anymore you could have done it like before update 20 but since update 20 dropped and all of the overpowered stuff i really would not recommend doing so it doesn't make sense and everything is just way too broken and most of the spammers will just not have the heart for it they will not be skilled too so what you also really gotta know when you're fighting teamers is how to handle you cannot be attacking your enemies immediately okay so let's just say your average teamers are just following you okay you really gotta like somehow outplay them you can't really just stay always in the same exact order you gotta move up move down just outplay them immediately okay you cannot really stay in the same exact zone and don't even think about comboing them well you could try to combo them if you're using like what though but other than that i really really would recommend using it because no it's just not worth it man i'm gonna show you guys the best combo that you could use against teamers so you just start with the do, do c and then you just do like your <laughs> your shark anchors the most overpowered combo is just the do c okay don't even try it out bro you know what just <laughs> do like the typhoon toss and the do c you'll be set for life let me tell you that and while you're already at it you might as well just do the soul guitar x look they don't know what they're doing man look 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 they don't know what they're doing that's the funny thing man all right always wait for the c because in the c attack you don't get hit and then just do the typhoon toss oh yeah and what i really really recommend you doing when you're fighting teamers don't fight them with high ping don't ever fight teamers with high ping if you have 300 ping like me right now definitely don't even try like pvping teamers okay it is really not worth it and you will not be able to hit anything it is just extremely bad and i really just wouldn't try it out if i was in you if i was in your place i would just like run away and just not challenge the 1v3 or 4 don't do it it's not worth it because at the end they, they will just all kill you very easily and it's really not worth your troubles and you always got to know who you're fighting if you're fighting like low bounties you could definitely challenge that if you're fighting high level teamers like 30 million 30 million 30 million 30 million 30 million don't attack okay don't attack don't even try it is not worth it it really isn't worth it all right but this is basically it i hope i help you guys with the tutorial let me know if you got any questions in the comments down below and i'll answer them probably then thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next video goodbye all right kitsune so how has your day been because my day has been going great you, you know you know you, you know what you know what i don't care i don't care i don't care i don't care i really don't 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 i really do not oh oh that's not looking too good oh i killed him oh i killed him bro hold on we gotta be a little bit careful still i can't mess this up now i really can't yes come on this should, be it. This, should be, this should be it oh there's only a few left there's only a few left oh my god bro i've never had to sweat this much in my life bro this is a, this is a crazy video bro everybody smash that subscribe button please why am i actually doing this video what i couldn't move i couldn't move i could not move ah i was so close